May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Guk Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So um, today, we're going to have another outtake from Zen is right now. And let's see, what have we got here? This one is also from Catherine Cook. Catherine says, Catherine reports, we'd be having tea at Tassahar during a break and someone would say something funny and Suzuki'd break out laughing. There was a student at tea time who said she missed ice cream and wished we'd get a freezer. Suzuki consoled her with, you'll just have to pretend. (laughs) Hmm. Well, now, let's go back to the last one, uh, the last outtake. You can't always be a wise man. (laughs) He's just saying something normal here, huh? You'll just have to pretend. Well, having lived in Japan, That also has a sort of Japanese meaning to me because in terms of how to deal with situations, various situations in Japan, uh, in terms of how to be uh, with other people, uh, in terms of so much, a key skill of the Japanese people is pretending. It's what they call hone and tate mai. Hone is your true, true face or whatever, how you really feel. And the tate mai is what you're showing. So that's sort of pretending, huh? Uh, and uh, they, they say Westerners are very frank. To them, the word frank uh, was, you know, those who spoke English. And frank was the word and then a lot of them knew and used because it was used for, for Westerners a lot, uh, that we're very frank. In other words, we weren't pretending. Uh, there's a, a story in Thank You and OK, uh, which will come out as an audio book before long, uh, where, um, and you know, it was the drafts for the chapters I put up here. All right. There's a story in there where uh, Elon, my wife at the time, and I were at City Hall, and uh, uh, we we were uh, registering a new address, and the the uh, man we were dealing with. Um, said, uh, how long ago did you move there? And, you know, we said, well, we actually, we've always lived there. I mean, since we've been here, it's just that we've been using the temple address next door. But uh, there's certain reasons why it would be better just to have mail delivered to us now. He said, um, well, you have to have moved there within the last two weeks. I said, well, no, you don't understand. We, we, we've been there, you know, three months or however long it had been. And that went back and forth. And finally he leaned forward and said, pretend. <laughs> so I said, oh, we moved there a week ago. <laughs> he needed to have something to fill out. But, oh, gosh. Um... So you'll just have to pretend. Now, pretending in this case is not misrepresenting yourself. We would think of somebody who's pretending as misrepresenting themselves, uh, pretending to be something they're not, or pretending to feel the way 
they don't, are pretending something's true that isn't. Well, this is sort of like that. But this is pretending you have ice cream. <laughs> uh, well, that was his encouragement to a new student. And also it was friendliness. Huh? I really noticed people jonesing for ice cream there. Are having been cut off from ice cream, dreaming about ice cream, asking about ice cream. When are we going to have ice cream? Can we bring some ice cream in? Can we can we get a bunch of uh, ice and maybe and bring it in with the ice and then have it for a break? Or uh, I noticed it consistently with students and with guests. And see, I'm not a big ice cream person because my teeth were too sensitive. I like ice cream, but it sort of hurts me to eat it even now. Uh, I don't eat it, and I very seldom eat it. You know, I thought people would be would be wanting meat, especially the guests, right? Wanting meat, wanting alcohol. Well, usually if they really, really needed alcohol, they'd bring it in. Tobacco, that's another story. Of course, they had to bring in their own tobacco, and uh, uh, we, we didn't have that. And if somebody came in expecting to buy them there, I didn't know. They found out they couldn't. Uh, if they couldn't buy them, they might drive back out. <laughs> That's a long drive. It would take, it would be a few hours to go out and get <laughs> Or let's see, hello. You'd have to go to Carmel Valley. Uh, that's it. That's about an hour. That can be an hour and a half for someone not familiar with the road, you know. So it would be three, maybe three, three and a half hours to get some cigarettes and come back in. Um, but ice cream, boy, I just sure noticed it. And uh, uh, we got an ice cream machine, and then when we'd make ice cream, it's, uh, everybody would just be delighted. Uh, and uh, anyway, it's just something I really noticed. I, I, I was surprised. Coca-Cola a little bit, too. Sometimes I notice people that must have some secret ingredient. Uh, but, oh, you don't sell Coca-Cola here? Mm. All right. Uh, anyway, ice cream was to students and guests like dinner is every night to my doggette bandita. Those were nice scenes. The tea in the afternoon. The kitchen would bring out a big stainless steel crock. Uh, maybe there was also a ceramic crock sometimes, but they're heavier. Big stainless steel crock is, is what I remember with different things. You know, it could be a big thing of lemonade and, uh, or, you know, it could be some mixed juice or uh, it could be tea. And if they made tea, they might not make a, 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 a tea with caffeine. I don't remember if that was a big deal, but sugar was. So if they brought out lemonade, uh, they learned to put the sugar on the side because there were a lot of us that would just drink it straight without any sugar, me included. And then Suzuki would... <laughs> I remember once we were doing that. And, uh, uh, you know, but oh, they'd put sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, honey. Uh, you know, it, it, right at first, you know, they're especially... And, uh, you know, some of us were adding a little bit of brown sugar because that has to be better than white sugar. And some of us adding a little bit of honey. Some of us, you know, roughing it and just drinking the lemonade straight. And, you know, the, just being so serious about how much sugar we had. Uh, and uh, Suzuki walked up and... Uh, Oh, you know, we parted ways so he could get to it. And so uh, we gave him a glass. I guess when he walked up, we hadn't noticed it. And we were talking about sugars, and you know, because it was such a trip. That sugar, no sugar thing was a big bone of contention, especially early on at Tassara. And there were a lot of us did not want sugar pushed on us. We wanted it to be optional so we could add it. Same thing here now in Bali, you know. They've learned uh, not to 
pour a lot of sugar in like they do for themselves. And I and I I've known now a number of Indonesians that prefer to have things without sugar. Um, anyway, uh, so he came in, and um, Bob Halpern handed him uh, the tea uh, the lemonade glass. And then Suzuki proceeded to put teaspoon after teaspoon of white sugar in it, like way over what he normally would, just like half filling the glass with sugar, going, mmm, I love sugar, I love sugar. It's just blowing everybody's mind, you know. And then he drinks it down, he goes, oh, so good, I love sugar, and walks off. Just, <laughs> he's talked <off. laughs> and we're just, all our minds are blown, because <laughs> he just, like, poked fun at us. That tea time was great. All sorts of different things happened, if he was there or not, whatever. Yeah, it's a nice thing to remember, and, uh, but we're not having it anymore. But will I pretend I'm at those teas? No. Uh, I will express my own name, my, how I really feel. Oh, how I really feel. I want to pretend I'm back there. Okay, that was fun. This has been a Cuke Audio Podcast. I'm D.C. Pooba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives. Coming to you from Sleepy Sonora with Doggy Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and Dear Lovely Could Drink It. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.